Jake Conkey's kickoff. Williams is back 100%. And Malcolm Perry on first down. Perry trying to find the edge, takes a big pop and a loss possession. Perry trying to draw with Perry, and that goes nowhere. Tackled for loss again on third down. Jordan Jackson leads the way for Air Force. Jordan Jackson doing a nice job right here at the left of your screen, doing a spin move, but then keeping leverage that forces Perry back to the pursuit. Sixth opening possession for the Falcons. Hammond, toss on the edge. That's an up for a first down. Rimsburg, well, he takes a big pop. Hard for Air Force to get some fast starts. Expect a sneak or a dive here. For the 23rd time on fourth down, Navy ready for it. And the mids get a fourth down stop. You also flip the field. Navy sitting here with the ball at midfield now. Perry from the 48. Perry going to keep it and get dropped for another loss on the outside. Jordan Jackson, the sophomore from Jacksonville. He's just doing a nice job of reading this. Keeps and maintains leverage, almost gets outrun, but he's extremely long, and that athleticism allows him to get a huge tackle for the loss. Neither team has a first down yet. Perry, toss. Walker ridden down. Fourth down coming up. Micah Capra makes the stop. It's just sad no matter who you're pulling for in this football game to see Taylor Heflin leave under those circumstances. Third and six, Villalobos makes the tackle on the new quarterback, Isaiah Sanders. Excellent field position from Malcolm Perry and the midshipman. Perry is driven back again. Back to the 50, another tackle for loss as Air Force is whipping up front. Perry who averages six yards a carry has only four rushing yards so far and nothing more on third and nine. Capra leads the way again. For now it's Sanders third and five. Draw Sanders up the middle. Navy was ready for it. He has dropped for a loss on third and five. Perry on the right side. Perry pushes and he is driven back. He appears to have just enough until Koppel and Fedulum make the stop. Yamatololo here. They may want to kick on the other end if it comes down to that for the quarter change. Walker has a first down, takes it inside the 15, and he takes a big pop. Perry under center on third and three. Block on the edge, pushing the second push. Perry near the goal line. He will be shoved back. We'll see where the forward progress is marked at an end. It is not fourth and goal. It is fourth and one from inside the two. Right side, end zone, touchdown, Garrett Lewis. on Zach Aby, Garrett Lewis into the game. First points for the mids. Hammond from the 25, option toss outside. Rimsburg has a scene for the biggest run of the day for Air Force as Rimsburg takes it across the 40-yard line for 17. Nice job by the left side of this offensive line and the tight end getting up to the second level to cut off the pursuit from the linebackers. Beautiful perimeter run. And you're even getting some receivers Ooh. that are getting into it, being physical out there on the outside edge. Second down here. Hammond toss right side. Another first down. Rimsburg has it on the edge. The United States Air Force Academy. Hammond fake it. Roll it on third down. Toss. It's incomplete. The first pass of the game. Perry toss. Walker on the edge. Reaching, he lost the football. Did it go out of bounds or was it scooped up by Air Force? Looked like Bagnall scooped it, but they're going to say down before the football came out. Yes, they are. It'd be USC, TCU, Kansas State, and Oklahoma in the last four weeks. Pretty impressive turnaround. Hammond on third and six, throwing on back-to-back. -back. This one's wide open. Cleveland outside. Cleveland inside the 20. He is end of the end zone. Touchdown, Air Force through the air for 61 yards. Getting involved in the run game, but this is just a complete bust on the backside of Navy. Ken Niamatololo telling us we have to be disciplined with our eye. Red zone replacement for the injured Zach Aby. 
Perry in trouble again in the backfield. Strung out and ridden out of bounds by Jordan Jackson. Malcolm Perry has been bottled up by Air Force. A couple weeks ago, but they affect this offense extremely well. It's the first accepted penalty of the game on either side. Forces into third and 21. Kyle Johnson on the stop. 65 points yeah. in the SEC. Now it's been a rough year for Arkansas, yes. but they look unstoppable. Hammond, another deep shot. Tipped and incomplete on the outside. Here comes a flag. It's on Sean Williams in coverage. After Hammond was going to the air again. Pass interference. Defense. Number six. Automatic first down. Instead now second and ten. Back on the ground now, Hammond. There's a toss on the edge. Saucier, Joseph Saucier inside the 20. And end of the end zone, touchdown. Falcons on top. Back-to-back -back touchdown drives from Air Force. A remarkable job as he takes the snap. He's going to come down the line, but look how he attacks upfield, holds it, sucks the defense in right there, clearing the path. For the ball carrier, Hammond, who had a tendency to be able to determine his pitches a little bit soon, takes advantage of a big block on the outside, a missed tackle by Navy, and all of a sudden, Air Force is up by a touchdown. Great Ford, patience there. 48 yards. Air Force had six offensive snaps in the first quarter. Two touchdowns in the second. Williams on the edge, gets across the 20-yard line and takes a big pop as he does. All it takes is one guy to take the bait, Carter, and it's to the house for Navy. Sure enough, Perry through the air, and it is caught near the 50-yard line, stretching out to make the grab. Michael Cooper first went through the air for Navy. Credit that offensive line for good pass protection. Cooper comes just on the slant route. Very wide open. Air Force with two timeouts, just over three minutes with Navy at midfield. Uh, Perry has a seam. First big run for Malcolm Perry inside the 30-yard line. And the junior from Clarksville, Tennessee, finally gets it rolling down after a gain of 20. Garzulo with a great block once again out there on the outside. Not exactly points off the board like it was versus SMU, but close. So Lewis on third and 19 to the air, past the sticks, incomplete. Prefers kicking to this end of Falcon Stadium, and here is a 57-yard attempt from Mooring, and it is no good. Threw the ball extremely well. Hammond gave him a spark late against Nevada, their last game. Here he is throwing, incompleting to the outside. That's Sanders with just his fourth catch of the year. Dropping back out of the eye. That's complete. Saucier, who had the touchdown run. And Saucier down the sideline again, like Jay Hicks. Does a marvelous job of. This is just like a pitch or a sweep. You get him out into space. Some good blocking once again on the perimeter. Really good perimeter blocking today. Falcons on the roll inside the Navy 35. Handoff up the middle. Berdeau bouncing his way inside the 10 and shoved out. Just a power. Pulling the guard inside, it actually turns into a trap, kicking out the defensive lineman. That is old school style football, just trying to split the defense in the second half. Tano Basu has seven tackles in relief of Heflin. Hammond into the end zone, touchdown. Donald Hammond, the third. Seizing a hold of the but there is no telling what the rest of this second half holds. They gotta get Malcolm Perry going. Loose Close football, out. Perry scoops it up. Perry inside his own 20. Perry got the football, and now he gets wow. back to the line of scrimmage. That is the most eventful no-gain first down play is there are now players down on both sides. Had a fumble. Trying to get up there inside, he just gets wrapped up. Look at that tenacious Air Force defense. That ball comes out. Perry, extremely heads up, picks it up. You almost want him to go down there. Perry, pressured in the pocket this time. Go Trying away. to bounce outside, tosses it, and he is ridden out of bounds. Fedulum comes flying up. 
Perry's on his back. Now we're discussing whether it's intentional grounding. Whatever it is, the frustration continues for Navy and Malcolm Perry. You're going to have grounding, basically a sack. Ball never made it back to the line of scrimmage. Intentional grounding, offense number 10. Three quarterback was outside the pocket, only there's no receiver in the area. So lost it down to spot, fourth down. Started this second half extremely strongly, looking to create some space and take this game over as they get the ball back here offensively. Cleveland from the 27 has a block on the edge. Cleveland's going to take it across the 40-yard line, across the 30-yard line. There is a flag down, but Cleveland brings it all the way back to near the Navy 30, and now we'll check the flag. I thought there was a block in the back near where Cleveland fielded the football. The flag, though, is on the plus 32 on a completely different part of the field. Turn, personal foul, blocking out of bounds, the receiving team number 13. 15 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Be first down for Air Force. Timeout. So Lewis trying to find the edge. He's ridden down again. Another tackle for loss. Jordan Jackson, Brody Bagnol. Lewis dropping back on third and 10. There's the pressure. Lewis hit as he throws. Throws it off and it's incomplete. Nearly picked, dropped at the last second by Zane Lewis. This is an Air Force offense that had 12 tackles for loss against Nevada. Hammond has to whip it, wow. and he completes it somehow. Sips it sidearm to Sanders at the 45. How did he sneak that one through for 19? Hammond, toss on the edge. Saucier across the 50. He trips oh. up and dives. I mean, he had... He had more room to run, but Saucier falls down. Nice job of working the edge here to the wide side of the field. The pitch was a little bit behind, but Saucier was able to field it. Hammond, keeper. Push, maybe on the second push. We will see. Move him, just enough. You better bet your bottom dollar. They're going to let this play clock run down. That time they snapped at 11, though. Hammond gonna take a shot again, right over at the 25-yard line. Sanders, he'll take it inside the 20, and the Falcons through the air again. Sanders. This just ends up being a deep rub route where the defenders basically pick themselves, and Sanders gets left wide open versus turning it over on fourth. But first, third and six. Looks like a busted play, and Hammond's gonna make something out of it anyway. Down to the five-yard line. First and goal. He's got to come up big. Hammond will keep it and dive in. Touchdown, Falcons, with less than a minute to go in the third. It is a three-touchdown lead for Air Force, with Navy having no success moving the football. Might be done into the locker room. He has returned in a major way to lead Air Force to a 28-7 lead. To beat their rival, the Naval Academy. Hand off, Gargiulo, nothing there up the middle, and we go to the fourth, Air Force dominating Navy. Sides gives them a free first down. Fourth and four, Perry pressured again on the roll. He wanted to run, and now Perry trying to find anything. He sneaks through, dives forward, but he is just short. A yard short, and Air Force stops Perry again. Falcons play keep away, but stay aggressive. Cleveland on the edge with a little shove. Kinsley, he's delivering a message there. Snapper with about five seconds, handoff, Cole Fagan. He has a first down inside the 15. It's the second quarter. And if you dominate rush yards in this game, it bodes well. And Fagan and the Falcons are dominating every phase. It's now first and goal. Thought they iced it going up 28, but to your point, they get this in here, it's over. Hammond into the end zone. He walks in untouched. Donald Hammond, the third is writing his name in the Air Force football lore. Every day, Navy needs one now. 
because Hammond's in the end zone. The Falcons are in danger of flying away. Just hasn't been able to get anything going against this tough Falcon defense. Garrett Lewis in. He's throwing, and he is completing on the outside. That's Alexi, the rather Taylor Jackson, who makes the grab. He's one for five today. Navy has only two completions in the game. Third and ten, that'll be a screen, and that'll be the third completion. It's Mike Martin on the screen, and he fights his way for nine yards on third and ten. So you have fourth and one. Perry on fourth down, going to hand off, and there's nothing available for Mike Martin on the give. It's another stop for Air Force. They get the football back. Piers, Carter, to your point that the future is now. And Bordeaux on third down. He appears to be just short. Hammond. Close. He appears to have it. Air Force certainly thinks so. You also have to credit Hammond, the quarterback, for leading the charge. First downs is half 11 to 1. Hammond pushing again on second and seven. That's another first down. They are on the field as suspected trying to pick up this first down. So Hammond on fourth and seven. I mean, that just basically keep away. So not even trying to go for it on fourth down. The point of attack is not what it's going to need to be moving forward. Fells on the edge, has a first down. Mids keep it. It's academic at this point. Less than a minute to go. Navy. I mean, this is too little, too late. Walker's going to take it near the 50-yard line. A big advantage in the Commander-in-Chief's trophy. Round-robin series with Army, Navy, and Air Force. And most importantly, they just played great football today to earn a 35-7 win. Air Force defeats Navy.